today we are talking about extra embryonic membrane the three germ layers the ectoderm mesoderm and the endoderm they will form the extra embryonic membrane and the embryo the mesoderm layer will divide into two layers one layer of the mesoderm will associated with ectoderm and one will be associated with the endoderm the part of mesoderm associated with the ectoderm is called somatopleuric mesoderm and the part associated with the endoderm will be called the splanchnopleuric mesoderm now drawing the embryo the black denotes the ectodermic layer and the red denotes the endodermic layer and the endoderm will form the embryonic gut and also the yolk sac and allantois and the ectoderm will line the amnion now the mesodermic layer the upper mesodermic layer that is somatopleuric that will be associated with the ectoderm and it will form the extra embryonic coelom which will also include the yolk sac this is the somatopleuric mesoderm now the lower one the splanchnopleuric mesoderm will be associated with the allantois and the yolk sac the endodermic layers the splanchnopleuric mesoderm the tropoblast cells will cover the whole thing and they will contribute in formation of the placenta these are the placental chorionic villi which will contribute in the formation of the placenta this layer is called chorion and it has the trophoblast cells and the somatopleuric mesoderm they both will form the chorion next the amnion has ectoderm and the somatopleuric mesoderm the yolk sac has endodermic layer and a fused layer of mesoderm the somatopleuric and splanchnopleuric fused mesodermic layer and the allantois has endoderm and splanchnopleuric mesoderm this is the embryo protected by the extra embryonic membrane and this region is the umbilical cord now we will do a recap of the extra embryonic membranes
first the amnion the amniotic fluid will be present in the amnion it has two layers ectoderm and mesoderm and the mesoderm is somatopleuric it stores the amniotic fluid which keeps the embryo wet and does not let it dry next the yolk sac it has endodermic layer and fused somato and splanchnopleuric mesoderm it stores nutrition for the embryo next is allantois it has endoderm and splanchnopleuric mesoderm it stores the excretory products of the embryo next the chorion it has two layers one is made up of tropoblast cells and the other is mesoderm which is somatopleuric mesoderm chorion helps in formation of placenta and also protects the embryo now we will see which germ layer makes which organs in the matured human the ectoderm makes the outer layer the outer skin of the body the outer skin in black is made up of ectoderm the brain the spinal cord and the whole nervous system is made up of ectoderm the skin the retina of the eye is also by ectoderm the hair the mouth and also the anal canal is made by ectoderm mesoderm will form the bones the muscle of our body the heart and the circulatory system the blood supply system of the body the kidney lining the urethra and the adrenal cortex is made by mesoderm next the endoderm mainly contributes in the gastrointestinal tract and the organs releasing the juice related to the gastrointestinal tract and the digestion the food pipe the stomach the small and large intestine and pancreas and liver all contributing the digestion and also the lungs line the thyroid and parathyroid glands and the urinary bladder is contributed by the endoderm in the lungs mesoderm is also present and in the adrenal gland the medulla is formed by the ectoderm